Hospitality and culinary have been a program at Johnson County Community College for 27 years. This is a wonderful discipline, teaching students skills to become very successful in a very demanding industry. And there's no question that should a student be able to make it completely through the program, that they would have a shining opportunity in front of them. Hospitality and culinary have been taught at Johnson County Community College for 27 years. Started over in the old basement in the Commons with five students and a wonderful director named Jerry Vincent. He was able to convince the American Culinary Federation to accredit Johnson County Community College with a chef apprenticeship program. It all began there and moved forward into what we actually have today, a three-year chef apprenticeship program, a two-year food and beverage management degree, a two-year hotel and lodging degree, along with several certificates such as the pastry baking certificate and the dietary manager certificate. This program has been blessed with wonderful donors. Let's take a minute and listen to some of them. We made a decision to basically make a grant to the college's superstar, which is the culinary school. Uh, it had gotten great uh, press, but it can always do better and we felt that a major grant in the direction of a challenge grant would help it uh, build a much greater base and hopefully in time uh, go global as, as opposed to local or uh, regional. Every college has uh, programs that they um, excel at, at, that they're known for and that they have um, a, a strong connection with, and I think that the culinary program is uh, is is that program for the for the Johnson County Community College. And some some colleges, their best program is their football team. This is our football team. This is our this is the team. This is the the the, the piece of the college that literally is nationally known, if not internationally known. So it's a it is um, it is such a strong program that to not support it fully and not put all of our assets and all of our, our, our strength behind that to make it uh, and allow it to be as big and as good and, 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 and function and, and prosper as, as much as that it can is a real sin. You know, we continue to read about the great things that uh, the culinary school has done here and, and all the great, great uh, awards they've won. And um, we felt that because food is, is something that we're involved with and is, is um, something that we're very passionate about. We've, we felt a real connection uh, by getting involved with uh, the Culinary Institute out here. Several years ago, David Wysong offered the program a sizable donation asking that we elevate it in prestige and recognition. We did that by offering several programs such as Cooking with Class in the Children's Garden. However, at the end of the year, we hadn't used any of his donation. So David wanted to know what did we need. And the answer, obviously, was a new building, a new facility. So we went to the Board of Trustees, who challenged the foundation to raise $3 million in 24 months. Actually, we raised $3.2 million in a mere 18 months. At that point, the Board of Trustees voted to give the program the remaining amount of money they needed, an architect was hired, and away we went. The students in the hospitality program are truly unique as far as I'm concerned. They all work in the industry. Most of them work full time. Chef apprentices are required to work 6,000 hours under a supervising chef with the requirements being met from the American Culinary Federation. One of those requirements would be that an operation has to produce 50% of its food from scratch in order to have an ACF apprenticeship. The food and beverage management students, along with the dietary managers, along with the hotel and lodging managers, also work in the industry. It's a requirement. They may work as little as 20 hours or up to full-time 40 hours a week. I have to tell you, those are really good students. Why don't we take a minute and listen to what some of our grads have to say. Hello, I'm Leslie Stockard. I'm the owner of the Classic Cookie and Cafe. I've had the restaurant for 15 years. I am a graduate of the culinary program out at Johnson County. My name is Stephanie Hurla, and I'm the director of hotel operations with Ameristar Casino. The hospitality program had just um, begun 
uh, when I was graduating from high school, so it was a perfect choice. It's actually uh, what they call a no-brainer for me. My name is Will Norm, and I'm the executive chef at Hallbrook Country Club. I learned about the hospitality program at Johnson County Community College uh, from my brother. He went to the, the hospitality management program, and uh, I was thumbing through some of his books one day, and I realized that I already knew a lot of the stuff in there, and uh, I get a, a certain gratification out of pleasing other people, and that's when I decided I wanted to become a chef. I didn't really feel like they could teach me anything about cooking, and boy, did they open my eyes, because I felt like a fish out of water when I got there. I learned wonderful knife skills, I learned how to work with other people in a stressful environment, and also a not stressful environment. I learned about the hospitality side of uh, my job. I learned how to do purchasing, how to keep my books, and just pretty much general skill, business skills. Um, I can remember Chef Sweeney saying, time is money, time is money. Everything had to be organized in the kitchen, everything had to be clean, so that way you could pull out a pan, it would be just as good as new. I ate caviar for the first time in the program. I went to the McCormick Food Show out in Chicago, at the McCormick Place out in Chicago, and that was an experience all on its own. Las Vegas, I got to tour the MGM Grand, got to take a tour of the UNLV campus. The memories are endless because there are certain things that I'll still recall to this day that'll pop up because of you know, my time in the program with Johnson County Community College. I did my apprenticeship here at Hallbrook Country Club and graduated in 2003. Uh, became the sous chef and uh, was later on hired back as the executive chef here. One of my fondest memories from Johnson County Community College was winning the national championship in Las Vegas in 2002 with the competitive culinary team. One of the most valuable lessons I learned at Johnson County Community College was persistence. Uh, through the culinary team and training there every Saturday morning uh, for eight hours at a time, just persistence and, and perseverance will really make you a great chef. The program at Johnson County Community College has worked very hard to develop an outstanding national reputation. At this point, we're also working on an outstanding international reputation. There's no question that in Johnson County alone, if you ask somebody about Johnson County Community College, one of the first things that comes to mind is their chef apprenticeships. They'll say, oh yes, I know so-and-so who works at such-and-such -and, -such and is part of the chef apprenticeship program. You can go out to many of the employers, country clubs, restaurants, hotels throughout the community, and generally you'll run into one of our students. If a student is looking to gain a very thorough knowledge of the hospitality industry in order to develop the skills that they need to succeed in our industry, there is no question that Johnson County Community College would be one of the first choices. Along with being one of the first choices, we have this wonderful new state-of-the-art facility that actually wows you when you walk into it. And you start looking into the different opportunities that are available. One of the most important things is that the students now actually have a computer lab where they actually can practice the computer skills they're learning in accounting or the design skills that they have learned in our design course on the computers and gain a skill that normally you wouldn't gain until you're out in employment. The building itself is a 36,000 square foot freestanding facility. There are five culinary labs, two professional cooking one and two labs, one garmage kitchen, one bake shop, one restaurant kitchen, a dining room, a culinary theater, and an innovation kitchen. Also, there are three classrooms. One of the most important things is that all of the classrooms, whether they be a culinary lab or a standard classroom, have technology that actually enhances the lecture. As we look into the future, there are several things we have to think. The hospitality industry is just going to continue to grow and require more skilled employees. Another part of looking into the future for this program is becoming a recognized World Association of Cook Society program. We're in the process of doing the paperwork for this recognition, and once we do receive it, we will be one of 35 throughout the world that is a WAX-recognized program. 
Certainly that will make a difference to our graduates because they then will have an Associate of Applied Science degree along with the American Culinary Federation certification and the WAX certification.